this tutorial video, we're going to go over some of the settings that you can adjust on a scene by scene basis. Earlier, we talked about the video settings, which is down here in the lower left, which adjusts the settings for the entire video. Right now, we're going to talk about this button here, scene settings, and it's just for the scene that you're currently on. Let's take a look. Right now, by default, it's set to use the board and hand style from video settings, which is down here. Well, we might not want that. Maybe we want to have a glass board for this scene. In that case, we're just going to unclick the check mark, and now I can change to glass board. Likewise, I can change the hand style if I prefer a different hand. Maybe I want to do a cartoon hand for this first scene. I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And now if we hit preview, we should see a cartoon hand doing the glass board style, which we do. But it was only for that one scene because I set it only for that scene. Okay, let's go back into scene settings and see what else we can do. We can adjust our exit animation as well as put some extra time at the end of the video. So what does that mean exactly? Let's start with exit animation. Let's take a look at that video one more time. He draws it and it swipes to the left. Okay, so let's go back into scene settings and sure enough, it swipes to the left. Well, what are our other choices? Well, we can swipe up, right, down, and erase. So let's just do one, swipe up, see what that looks like. There it goes, it goes up. The other directions are the same. Let's see what happens when we hit erase. Did you see that little eraser went through? And then finally, let's see what it looks like with nothing there. So those are your exit animations. Now this extra time at the end by default is half a second. You may have noticed when we were previewing these exit animations, as soon as he writes scene settings, we are off to the next scene. Oftentimes that doesn't give you enough reading time to actually read what the hand has written, or maybe you want to actually have a voiceover talk a little bit longer before the scene changes. So that's where scene settings comes in for the extra time at the end. So let's change that. Let's change it to say five seconds. So I typed in five and then I hit the tab key and now I'm gonna click apply. Now, if we hit preview, we'll have some breathing room between the two scenes. One, two, three, four, five, and it should change there. And that's it for scene settings. 